thanks to making crazy projects like this, there is so much more fun and meaning in my life. My name is Iri and in today's episode of Paranda, I'm gonna share with you three reasons why I believe maker movement is so important for individuals the communities and also the world. And if you don't happen to be an initiated maker, maker movement is a culture that is usually organized in a form of public workshops where you can find tools to make almost anything yourself. Reason number one, through making there is more to you. Seven years ago when I moved to Estonia, I was set right away in front of my very first DIY maker quest. Basically, we had to build a kitchen surface in a flat where there was no space for kitchen. And to do that, we had just a very blunt handsaw, old Makita drill from Diana's grandpa. This was actually the very first time I ever used a power drill and some scrap wood we found in the shed. And we managed pretty, well, okay. And anyways, but it still felt really satisfying and weirdly empowering because in that very moment I realized that damn, I can make things myself. And this is really cool thing about makerspaces because they allow to have this sort of empowering experience to anyone all the time. And then skills that allow you to build a cabin, 3D print whatever you need, fix things so you don't have to buy new sh program and design your own robots so you can fight the toasters that are planning to take over the world. Basically skills that make you more self-sufficient and just, just able. The reason number two, sense of belonging. Makerspaces are always built around a community and making things together as a group creates a sense of belonging. A few years ago, when we started to organize repair cafes, uh, there once came this dude who, you know, as a participant, he needed to fix something. And he would be this typical Estonian, where when would you ask him a little bit too much? Like, so what do you think about the weather? Weather? <laughs> Good. But you know, he really enjoyed fixing. So, so I invited him for the next event and then he would uh, appear again and again. And this is how we got him hooked. And imagine what, after three years, I, I, I finally got to know his, his name. Actually, now he's like a real member of the community and he goes and takes part of other events as well. So yeah, I have experienced this, that making things together creates very strong relationships. There is this whole sub-branch of makers movement men's shed which tackles men's mental health issues and loneliness through this togetherness in woodwork really cool the third reason production system for the 21st century i reckon you've noticed that most of the things manufactured today aren't designed to last and to get to you they have to travel the world and seven C. When we opened this very repair space, we got ourselves a 3D printer. Till that time I knew about them, but my only experience was, you know, people printing heads of Yodas and stuff like that. But then I needed this thingy that holds a shower head in place. So we checked the thingiverse and obviously then it was. And if I would have been any other mortal, I would just have gone to shop and buy the new thing, which would probably come with all other pieces and thingies that I actually didn't need. Makerspaces and Fab Labs are sort of a prototype what manufacturing could be in the future, where things are designed globally by whomever, shared all over the world through the power of internet, and then produced locally, thanks to technologies like 3D printing and CNC mills. In this manner, most of the parts of your desired object could be manufactured very close to you, so much less carbon miles and no seven seas. And in addition, 3D printed objects are modular. So firstly, you can design them exactly to your needs. And secondly, well, it's really easy to fix them because you just swap the broken part. Imagine how cool it would be that this kind of mini DIY factory would be in every village and every neighborhood all around the world. You could basically lose all that crazy logistics that is happening and in the end, shops. <laughs> you wouldn't need to buy new things. This system would be way more sustainable, resilient, 
and cheaper. Maker movement enhances people's skills to be more than just a consumer. It creates strong communities built around love for crafts, creativity and engineering. And it paves path for a production system 21st century is actually world of. That is in service of people's needs instead of just profit. So these three aspects are exactly the reason why I believe maker movement is so damn cool and also very important on the individual, the community and also the global level. So if you aren't member already then go and join one and if you don't have one in the place where you live then you know start one. I've included some articles on that topic how to start a makerspace or a hackerspace in the description. Thank you for watching and, you know, subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's gonna make you feel like, mm, so good. If you press the button, it's gonna be like the softest, softest thing you can imagine. Just like rubbing your face against it. Just so good. Subscribe. Your life will be better. Bye.